Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia Goyal and here I am with the react interview question series as promised to you today and this series will consist of three parts. Uh, one is the basic react interview questions and the other two parts will be on the advanced react interview questions. I have divided it into three parts so that it will not be a too big of a video for you to watch. Okay. Uh, before starting, I would like to inform you about a few things. First of all, I would like to request you, please, please, please do not skip the video ahead because uh, along with the interview questions, I have tried to explain you like what is the use of these questions, why they are asked and there could be some other questions along with it that I will be explaining you like what could be asked, how you need to think about it because uh, there cannot be, you know, a hundred percent certainty that this only this question will be asked. There will be a lot of related questions. And I could not, you know, write everything in a presentation. So, of course, we need to know like uh, what other questions could be like and uh, in what way we need to think to go through those questions. Secondly, I would like to inform you that I have not covered any state management library related questions like it could be flux or redux or anything. So, you know, I just wanted to create a separate video, a separate series on the questions related to redux and about the integration of react redux and how it works together. What are the questions that are asked in that? So I want to cover that in a separate part. So you will see it in a different video altogether, uh, not in this series at all. So for that, please subscribe my channel. And just one last thing is that uh, I have also created a JavaScript interview question series. So the people who are looking for a web development interview, uh, the JavaScript interview question series will be a lot of help for you guys. So please do watch that uh, by clicking on the I button above that I mentioned. So yeah, uh, let's begin. Okay. So friends, we start with the react interview questions, part one, basic interview questions, as I said to you. And the first question will be, uh, what is react? So you must be thinking like, what kind of question is this? What is react? So friends, what happens is uh, most of you, you know, you start working on projects, you start learning react, you start doing something, some stuff, you know, the language, you know, the coding know how it is going and you think that you are prepared for the interview but before that we need to know about react like what we are using what we are doing uh, what we are going to do with this okay uh, what are the benefits of react and everything so this is what we want to know and this is what an interviewer you know ask you about like they want to know whether you know the thing or uh, that you are working on or not okay so this will be like what is react okay the next question will be how react is fast so as we all know that react is fast uh, it is a single page application it is very fast so how is it fast how is it working the next question will be difference between react and other frameworks you know we have a lot of other competitor frameworks in the market angular new etc so what is the difference what are the advantages of react over them or what are the advantages of those frameworks over react fine and uh, the, uh, the last thing is why react is a single page application so you need to know the answer of that as well Fine. The next question could be like on the internal working of React, you know, like how React is working internally, how things are processed inside React and, uh, you know, how it is working, how it is making it faster. This is related to the previous question only, but I wanted to, you know, make it more particular. Uh, now, the questions related to uh, this could be what is virtual DOM? Uh, why other frameworks are not using virtual DOM? Why React is only using the virtual DOM? I don't think this question is that relevant, but people ask it, so I have put it here. Uh, and the next is what is shallow DOM? So it is not related to React, it is a part of Angular, but uh, it would be better if you know about it. Uh, that will enhance your knowledge and work in, in your favor only. Right? So, uh, uh, and yeah, one more thing, like you might be thinking why I need to know this. So the thing is friends, uh, like most of you work in an already developed project. So yeah, you have that foundation to work on react only, but sometimes the requirement is you need to do a project from scratch and there, you know, you need to decide like which technologies you will be working on, what you will be using. So you need to decide the whole architecture or the whole infrastructure of the project and there you need to be clear about everything like I should be using react I should be using Angular, or I should be using Vue. why I should be using these frameworks only 
uh, what will be the most beneficial for me so for these point of view you you know we need to know the internal working the advantages and disadvantages of every technology that's there in the market another scenario could be you know when your project is not working that well uh, i have heard like most people have started moving from angular to react or you know like there could be some things that cannot be fulfilled with your framework whatever you are using but you need to switch to some other framework so for that you need to know these things in detail so i think like that would be a good motivation for you to understand this stuff and to learn about it okay the next question is explain react life cycle friends very 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 highly important question highly important okay uh, this is the backbone of react and everyone wants to know like whether you know it or not this will be like if you are a beginner in react or like if you have given uh, interviews as a beginner in react then they will definitely ask you the life cycle of react and it is very important i have seen people i have seen the back end developers i have seen the people who know uh, to work on react they have developed a working code on react somehow like you know they have managed to do something by searching on google or by searching some stuff but they don't know about the life cycle of react hence there are bigger problems that are unsolvable for them and they think that no we cannot solve this uh, we have tried a lot but what is the reason the reason is they don't know the logic they don't know it completely how it is working that is why it is not solvable for them so yes you need to know about it uh, you need to know the order of all life cycle methods okay so there are the uh, stages uh, like mounting updating unmounting and uh, error handling so you need to know these stages and then you need to know the order like how which method will be called first which will be called later which will be used for which stage what is the use of each stage fine the next question is how it works in functional components so the c friends this has become very very important these days uh, because of hooks people are migrating to functional components it has become very easier now so of course like people are asking see that you know the life cycle methods in the class based components how is it working in the functional components now so you need to tell them that okay and uh, friends there is one tip that please uh, try to know a bit about the unregular methods that are used like get derived state from props or should component update or get snapshot before update so there are a lot of these methods which we do not use if you have used it well and good if you have not used it please try to know about a bit if you will tell these methods in your you know complete life cycle then the interviewer will have an impression that yes you have a good knowledge okay so the next question is uh, what are synthetic events in react and why they were introduced okay so about like i was telling you about thinking in particular so how you are going to think about these things see uh, normally we are using the html elements in react as it is there are a few changes in some elements only okay and there you know you need to think about it like why it was created why they were not using the previous html element if i'm using everything as earlier all the tag names elements attributes are same then why is this one different okay so that will be the question that should come to your mind and then you will be getting all the answers so that is the same thing what is the need of a synthetic event what is a synthetic event why are they used in react fine so the next question will be a difference between props and state this is a very common question and there are a few differences by using prop uh, in using props and state so yeah you need to know about that the next question is what are stateful and stateless components uh this question is not of that use now because earlier functional components were stateless only but now you can make them stateful as well but there are some people who want to ask that or who want to know like whether you know the basic stuff or not that are, that was used earlier and if you have friends if you have read react you might be thinking like what kind of questions are these these are just basics of react why are you telling them i am telling them because mostly people uh, forget to focus on these type of things is type of basic things and secondly as i said there are people who had already worked on a few projects you know they had started from middle they had just you know check the language the syntax they know it they copy paste it and they start working on that but they don't know the basic concepts or they don't know the basic things that are asked in interview so yes you need to know about these things you need to read well about these things fine the next question is what is jsx okay so yes we know we write the code in jsx uh, this is the syntax in that is used in react this is the way we write the code in react but what is it yeah we need to know that what is that otherwise people will say oh you are you are using jsx but you don't even know what jsx is so yeah please learn about it the next question will be 
what is react fragment okay uh, like you know we are using fragments so what are fragments and why are we using react fragments and there is like one another question associated to it that could come you know we can use keys in react fragments see the only attribute that you can pass in react fragment is key key prop is what you can pass there so yeah people will ask like what is the need of key in react fragment so yeah friends that's it about today's video that i would like to tell you in the react interview questions part one fine and uh, for another videos that are the advanced level questions that you want to know please subscribe to my channel and please like share this video if you want your friends to know about these questions or if you think that your friends might need it and also please tell me in the comment section if you like the video if you find the questions relevant or what was missing and what more would you like to recommend for the other videos or uh, what other questions do you think are important that could help other people okay so till then uh thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next video Bye bye